So when you remove a case, that's when you're taking a case from state court to federal court. And there are two ways that you would try and remove a case. The first would be if you have diversity jurisdiction. So that's where the plaintiff and the defendants are both from citizens of different states. And then the, the action would actually have to be in excess of $75,000 as well. So that's your diversity. There's also federal question jurisdiction. So if uh, you have a trademark case or you have a maritime case, you're able to get directly to federal court without having to worry about the diversity of citizenship. Uh, so then when a party is served, they have 30 days from the time that they're served with the complaint to move to remove a case to federal court. And you would think that that's something that's pretty simple, all right, I know I have 30 days. Uh, well, what plaintiff's attorneys would do is they would send a courtesy copy of a complaint to a defendant, and then they would go to court and say, well, their time to remove is passed because they've had the complaint for more than 30 days. So the U.S. Supreme Court uh, recently ruled, look, we're going to look to just when the complaint is filed. A courtesy copy is not going to start the period, the 30-day period to run. Uh, so once they resolve that issue, the the other remaining issue on the 30-day period, or when you have multiple defendants. So common sense would tell you that if you have multiple defendants and uh, you are the last served defendant, you then get 30 days to file your removal petition if you want to remove a case. Um, common sense and the law sometimes don't you know, get along well with each other. So some courts have said, no, we're going with the first served rule. So the first defendant who served has 30 days to remove. And if you're served as a co-defendant 45 days after that, you don't have an opportunity to remove a case. And the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which covers West Virginia among other states, uh, in 2011 ruled that the first served defendant uh, rule is what's going to be applied for uh, purposes of removal jurisdiction in federal court. Congress stepped in at the end of 2011 and said, we're going to make this clear because we have a circuit split, as opposed to going up to the U.S. Supreme Court. So in January 2012, uh, a new legislation was enacted that uh, set, set forth that you're going to use a 30-day removal period from the time that a defendant is served. We're not going to do first serve, last serve. Whenever a defendant is served, they have 30 days to attempt to remove a case. There are many reasons why you may want to remove a case from state court to federal court. The first being that in federal court you get more consistent consistency between the judges. So if there are five judges in a district, you're more likely to get the same decision on a topic as you would regardless of the judge you're in front of. And when you're in litigation, knowing that there's consistency in the precedent that's already been set is very important. Uh, the next is to avoid either a perceived or actual bias from the local court. So for example, if you're a New Jersey or a New York company and you're sued in Alabama, you may want to be in, in federal court instead of state court uh, just because you feel more comfortable having a federal judge. Uh, recently, we were involved in a trial in Little Rock and we were in a state court and the judge uh, was prosecuting a personal injury action uh, and the defendant she was suing was represented by the plaintiff in our case. And while our case was pending, they were able to resolve the case. So even though there was this now amicable relationship between the plaintiff's law firm and the judge, the judge didn't see fit that she would need to recuse herself. You're less likely to see something like that when you're in federal court. The most important reason is to get a conference before a judge quickly. In state court, it may take up to a year before you see a judge, whereas in federal court, as soon as you put your answer in, you're going to get a conference, usually within six weeks. It's an opportunity for you to meet the judge, discuss the merits of the case, and potential settlement. And let's face it, today, more than 90% of cases settle. So having the opportunity to discuss settlement in an early stage is, is cost efficient and effective for our clients.